in order to condense this down to a single logarithm we're going to use some combination of the product rule, quotient rule, and power rule for logarithms. And we'll start off with our power rule. So each of these numbers that we find in front of the logs will become a power on the part that's inside. So this first term we get log base b of x to the one fourth. The next term we'd have a log base b of five squared. And in our last term we'd have minus a log base b of y to the tenth. And then we see some subtraction and so that's going to indicate the use of the quotient rule. So the quotient rule says that the log of a quotient would turn into the separate logs of their difference when you subtract. So to combine these two into one single logarithm I would get log base b of x to the one-fourth over 5 squared. Now I'm going to go ahead and write the 5 squared as 25. And I still have minus log base b of y to the tenth. So again, because of that subtraction, I'm going to use the quotient rule. So I'd have log base b of x to the one-fourth over 25 over y to the tenth. Now that's going to end up looking a little bit more complicated than we would like. So I'm going to just work on that expression over here on the side. So I would have x to the one-fourth over 25 over y to the tenth. Well, another way to divide with fractions is to multiply by the reciprocal. So we have x to the one-fourth over 25 divided by y to the tenth. That's the same as times one over y to the tenth. That's the reciprocal of y to the tenth. And that way we can just go straight across the top and get x to the one-fourth and straight across the bottom and get 25y to the tenth. So that's the expression that's going to end up inside our logarithm. And that gets us down to a single logarithm. Now one kind of shortcut we can use there to see where we ended up is that our positive term that we had, if I look way back up here into this top line, this is the only positive term. We have positive log base b of x to the one-fourth. That x to the one-fourth then ended up on top of our fraction. Both of the other terms were negative. We had minuses there. And so both of those values, the 5 squared, 25, and the y to the tenth, ended up on the bottom of the fraction. So if we have multiple terms like this, any of the positive terms, those expressions are going to end up on top, and the negative terms, those are going to end up on the bottom.